Well, this is nice. It's great to be back at the Silverton. I was here about 40 years ago, about 100 yards away down the street when it was all deserts. Last time I worked out here. That's another story. I want to see my grandson. I got to give him something. The grandson comes in to see the godfather on his deathbed. He says, boy, I want you to have my gun. The grandson looks at his grandfather on the deathbed. He goes, but grandfather, I want your Rolex. <laughs> One day, you may come home early from taking care of a few things. You might find your wife in the bed with another man. What you gonna do? Look at him and go, okay, time's up. <laughs> you know, I work with a lot of different actors in films. Mr. Christopher Walken? You know, Bob, there's no way I'm taking a gun and putting it to my head. It freaks me out. Then I get a call from Sylvester Stallone one day. He gets me on the phone, he goes, Hey, yo, Bobby, you know, we did a couple of movies together, and I was thinking, you know, maybe we should get together and do another movie. What do you think? I said, hey, Sly, after grudge match, ain't no studios been calling us. <laughs> you know him by the name of Jack Nicholson. <laughs> well, Bob, here's how it's gotta be. <laughs> All you have to do is swing one time at me, and I'll take care of the rest. It is now time for Wise Guy's Nursery Rhymes. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating pepperoni and mozzarella. When I took a whiff, I wanted to jump off a cliff, and that's how she chased off this good fella. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard. To fetch a bone for her dog, she did reach. She showed him the bone. The dog said, Maron, I told you I wanted peppers and sausage. <laughs> hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the shed. The little rat laughed to see such a craft and got two bullets in the back of the head. <laughs> Georgie Porgy pudding and pie kissed the girl and made her cry. The little girl's father was Don Corleone. Now Georgie Porges' whereabouts are unknown. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Hey, look, a knife. I'm gonna throw this. Whoever catches it's gonna come up here. I'm going to explain to all of you in the audience how to make a body disappear. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta get a magic wand. Now, I couldn't find a magic wand, but I did find this. Lead pipe. <laughs> you wave it over the head of the victim a few good times like this, and that will put them into a very deep trance. <laughs> Here comes the good part. When a body disappears, what do you do? Dig a hole. How do you dig a hole? You gotta use one of these. A shovel. You dig the hole, you put the body in, you cover it up and you forget about it. And that is how you make a body disappear. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you guys have been great. I gotta get out of here because I got business. About a hundred yards down the road.